Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to make a plant farm in Terraria. And making plant farms in Terraria is very important and it's one of my favorite things to do and I have tried different ways to do it over the years but the following is definitely the most efficient way in my opinion because it serves multiple purposes. So the first thing you want to do is you want to talk to the Dryad and she sells planter boxes. Doesn't matter which planter box you buy, sometimes you could just buy ones that look nicer, of course. I'm just buying blink root ones here, and I'm just going to have 70 odd of them. I have some of them planted already, or some of them put down. And as I said, you can just get whatever one you want. You don't have to get the day bloom one. I'm also buying some pumpkin seeds to put in the grass upstairs while I have a chance. Make sure you plant pumpkin seeds as often as you can in Terraria. It's a very useful ingredient to have. So what I recommend you do is you go to your sky bridge. Now, if you don't have a sky bridge, you don't have to put these on your sky bridge or in the sky, but I recommend putting them up high. And the reason why is you're going to be using this sky bridge later on to fight all the bosses in the game as soon as you enter hard mode. And having your plant farm and your sky bridge in the same place is very, very useful. So you just put your planter boxes and you're literally making some of your sky bridge out of planter boxes. It's very expensive to do your entire sky bridge out of planter boxes, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. But just a little bit of the end. I usually put about 200 blocks of planter boxes. In this playthrough, there's a little bit more because I'm making these videos. And you just plant away. They're not going to get in the way. And the reason why you want to do this on your sky bridge is because planter boxes act the exact same way as platforms which means you can jump underneath them and you can shoot underneath them. They don't block projectiles and it gives you a lot of movement, which you can also, as you can see, run on them. And because you can run on them, just like platforms, you're killing two birds at one stone. You're planting your plants in the game and you're able to fight your bosses at the same time. It is very useful. Now, what you want to do is you want to plant all of your different seeds in the planter boxes. So get your seeds out and start putting them in. You want to have day blooms and you want to have shiver thorns, blink root, water leaf, moon glow. All of these plants are going to be used in the future to make really strong potions. And as you start planting your plants, you will also harvest some of the plants that are already ready and you'll gain more seeds. And as you keep going, eventually you'll have a full row of potted plants or plants in general waiting for you to harvest. Day blooms are one of the easiest ones to do and they're also one of the most useful because they are used in iron skin potions and iron skin potions is a must have in Terraria. And as you can see here I'm just harvesting it with my pickaxe and then I get some more seeds and I'm going to plant them as well. Press control so that you automatically plant them so you don't actually have to aim. Use the smart cursor for that. And some of these plants, as you might notice, also produce bait for fishing. So you get even more bang for your buck here. It's so useful to use planter boxes and use them on a sky bridge. As I said, if you don't want to be putting them up too high in a sky bridge, you can always put them next to your base. So iron skin potions, day bloom and iron. And obviously you need bottles of water as well. So you always want to make sure you have as many iron skin potions as possible on you at all times because that's a must have and then of course you can make other potions in the game as well with all the different ingredients some of them some of the ingredients or some of the potions are end game potions that completely change your character so it is very useful to make these for example you might be able to make the life force potion which increases your maximum health, which is awesome. Swiftness potions and Torn's potions, those aren't late game, but they're still very useful. Mana regeneration potions, you can get summoner potions, battle potions, spelunker potions, so much you can do with all these ingredients. And you are going to need, on a basic level, the ingredients that you planted in your planter box. And it's a pain in the ass trying to find the ingredients naturally in the world so it's better to have these ingredients ready so many potions that are so useful but we'll look at the different types of potions themselves in a different video anyway thank you very much for watching today's video i'll see you again in the next one let me know what you think of my plant farm and ta -ta!